Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's Left 4 Dead 2 video, we're going to be doing another custom map walkthrough. And for this custom map, this one's going to be called Bloodproof. Bloodproof sounds just like a cool name in general, and I don't know what I'm going to be getting into. I always like to leave myself open to surprises. Uh, hopefully there's no jump scares or anything that will scare the crap out of me, but yeah, we're going to be playing Bloodproof. It's as simple as that. I'm going to be literally just hopping straight into it. No crazy intros or nothing uh, nonchalant. I'm just going to be hopping straight into it, so I hope you guys enjoy. There's no easy way out. Hell yeah. You know, for me personally, I've always liked those cheesy quotes. I always think that they're fun. <laughs> I, I like them. I like them a lot. God, what I would give to see a Left 4 Dead 2 movie actually become real. <laughs> that would be sick as hell. Oh, Virgil was on this map. Hey, Virgil. What's up, G? Guess she rescued us again here. Yeah, yeah, Ellis was the only polite one to say thank you. Everyone else didn't say thank you. You guys are rude. Zombie, I don't think you're supposed to be up on the roof over there. Okay, he just doesn't care. It would make more sense if the special infected were up there, but why the commons? Like, there's nothing to gain from that. Oh, crap. Wait, what the heck? The smoke? The smoker's tongue went, like, around the car. It, like, had, like, this weird, like, bend effect. It, like, went around corners. Okay, that's not good. Thank God I'm alive. I, I literally thought that the Charger got a quad feet instantly. Wait, how the hell did Coach not get hit whatsoever? Yo, we may be bloodproof, but is this map idiot proof? <laughs> Yo, this has been me trying to wake up the last, like, week and a half. Alright, so we hit the switch. I guess this is a scenario event. Uh, Coach, I don't think that's a merry-go-round. <laughs> I, I, look, I don't, I don't know what cheap ass merry-go-rounds that you had as a kid, but this is not a merry-go-round. Like, like, coach, if that's a merry-go-round, then that means that this propane tank is a chandelier. Which one did you find, gentlemen, like to kill this fucking thing? A lot of doors in this room. Oh, hey, tanky poo. How's the kids? Oh, uh, yeah, Rochelle. Um, that that probably would be best if you didn't uh, end up getting killed there. For those of you guys that have seen my Left 4 Dead ranking video on scrap content, and one of the things that I discussed was about how the jockey was originally going to be naked. There's already into windows in this game about the jockey, like, basically humping their victims from the from their back of their neck. I, I can't imagine the jockey being naked on top of that and just having his wrinkly old ball sack on the back of my neck. My buddy Keith decided to take a plunger and shove it up his Do you want to know what would be cool if Back for Blood did? Is if they decided to go even more of the fan service route for the Left 4 Dead community and ended up making one of the original four, uh, or even they could just do this later down the line, they could just add a DLC character later. But it'd be cool as hell if they ended up adding in a DLC character called Keith. And it, like, represents everything that Ellis describes, but it doesn't officially make it canon. But they make it as close as they can. That would be cool fan service to put like Keith in Back for Blood, and and he would even have a dialogue where he actually says stuff about Ellis. Where's the alarm? Where do you, where do you turn off the bell? It says go upstairs. Do, do I open this? I'm confused. Oh, it's right here. That's why. I literally could not find that button for a solid minute there. Ah, yes, the SpongeBob channel. I love this channel. Oh, I better move away from that car. <laughs> it's a Nick, Nick, what was the, what was, what was, what was the idea there? Did you think that the tank would be able to fling you up out of the map so you didn't have to deal with him? Yeah, let me get on the item that he can most certainly kill me with. That will definitely help me out. For me personally, I mean, I'm just saying is that I still stand by my statement. If it, you know, I was ever in the zombie apocalypse, I would just go to an island. I don't know why the survivors just keep trying to get rescued. I hear a tank again. Are you kidding me, man? I wasn't ready for you, tank. Oh dear, oh dear, this ain't good. All right, got him. Okay, cool, perfect. The finale said that it's a bunker. I just don't know where the heck the bunker is. Is this a running finale? 
Like, where the heck is the bunker? Yeah, okay, it is a running finale. Bring it on, zombies. Bring it on. Bring it on. Well, I'm out of ammo, so I'm gonna just be hacking and slashing for a while. But it doesn't sound like a problem. Dude, I would, I would honestly think that a samurai sword or just a machete in general would probably be, like, one of the coolest melee weapons you could have in the zombie apocalypse. It, without a doubt, would be. Alright, uh, well, there's no ammo pile, so I'm just gonna grab, like, the Spash 12 or something. So I'm curious, when they say the bunker is the finale, is that, like, just where we're gonna be meeting up with other survivors just to hold out? Because why would we go there, like, just, just to stay there? That feels like it would be a safe room, probably, more, if anything. Oh, maybe what it is that we're cutting through a bunker is what it looks like. I, I see now. I think we're going the right way. Or are we backtracking? Are we backtracking? Oh, we are backtracking. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, we're back in the bunker. So where are we going within the bunker? Down here? Ah, power switch. Now what happens? Oh, we got power. Coach, why would you think that Ellis would be the one humping the back of your neck? Has anybody ever noticed that voice line where Coach is being like, Ellis, is that you when a jockey's game? He's like, yes, of, co of course, Coach. I would love to hump the back of your neck. Okay, I thought the elevator did something. Well, hopefully the elevator comes soon. Oh, and mustache. Cool, perfect. All right, cool. Elevator's here. Let's get in. I'm going first. Hey, Let's go! We made it! So I guess that's the ending. So so we did go to the bunker just to uh, escape that way. Okay. Interesting. I think that's the very first time I've ever seen any sort of Left 4 Dead ending where it doesn't end with you uh, leaving your current area, but it rather ends with you actually making it to the area you intended to get to, which is a different type of... Uh, uh, idea that that would be like if, if like for example the parish uh, instead of the ending uh, actually I got a better example that would be like if blood harvest instead of ending like right after you got picked up by the military it like ended like as soon as you arrived at the military base right afterward in the comics but that's just me personally that's just an observation yeah guys that is going to be it here for today's video I truly hope you guys end up enjoying if you did please consider dropping a like comment subscribe and all that beautiful stuff. I hope you guys end up enjoying today's YouTube video. If you guys want to keep up to date with me on any of my other social medias, they are always linked down below in the YouTube video descriptions. And if you guys also want to financially support the channel, I would definitely appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon. Or if you guys want to use code Black Ninja 797 in all caps in the Fortnite and Epic Games item shops, that'd be very much appreciated because that is my very first sponsor by Epic. And so Epic, thank you for being my sponsor for today's video. But I hope you guys end up enjoying another YouTube video for the most unique YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.